Welcome back everybody. In this episode, we'll be going over how to keep track of the variables and uh, when to initiate certain variables uh, in, order to, in order that you don't uh, mess up the process of your game, okay? But first, I just want to say that I have released Take It Racing 2 on itch. There is a link in the description. I uh, would really appreciate if you go and uh, check it out and leave any comments on it. So to begin, we need to uh, consider how uh, the the variable management will happen. So what obviously I've done this before, so I know that I need a a scene that initiates everything, which um, in Techie Racing 2, for example, it's when you press new game, it initiates all the stats and brings you into the game fresh. So that would be in this game, for example, it would be your your strength and your health would be set before the game begins so that when you're in the game, it's not changeable. And w only when you either save or load is when you actually affect those stats. Uh, and obviously when you are in the fight you and you win a fight, your stats will increase. So let's just start by doing that. Let's, uh, let's just create a scene. Obviously we need to... Well, see, you might want to delete all of this, but uh, I'll just use this. I'll just use an empty scene. Uh, we can take the logo scene if you want, and we can then we can then uh, set the variables. So we'll use the math functions, and we'll then set the player health to. Let's just check where we had it here. Five and the player strength is one. What else do we need to set? The player experience. <clears throat> so obviously here it sets it to five, but uh, we can set it to zero at the start. So when you start playing, you have no experience and that's how you increase your experience. Uh, and your special attack as well. We would obviously wanna put that. So I could obviously just copy them one by one across or I can just type them in. So I'll do that and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I've now copied across all of the all of the stats and these stats we want to initiate on the start. So this is why um, we have got it in your logo, right? It's because on when the, when the game starts, these are the stats we want the player to have. And during the game, they will change um, or be saved and loaded. Um, but these are the ones that we want the game to start with and the problem with uh, the battle system we had before and why we're deleting them now from it is that uh, is that the we don't want the player to come into every fresh battle with the exact with the same health. We want them to go, for example, we could make them sleep and they'll then get all of their health back and they'll get all of their special attacks back. So that's my plan for this episode. Uh, so if we remove all the player stuff, uh, then it should be fine. So we'll, we'll also set the start position to this thing, to this scene, and I'll I'll just hide the player so that, because obviously if it's your logo, you don't want your player sat on the logo. And after it's, <clears throat> make sure that after you've set the, the um, variables, all your health and stuff, that after that is when you change the scene. If you change the scene before that, then the uh, it wouldn't uh, update. So so now we if we want to we can try this out. Um, we we might also want to set the uh, attack uses to free. Uh, so let's do that as well. Just make sure you put it before the change scene. So when the player spawns, they have all of the uh, they have all of their values and everything set properly. And we can even if we want to, we can make a new scene and we'll put them in a house and that's where they start. Obviously, they'll, I don't know if there'll be a bed, uh, but we can give them something to interact with that uh, will act as a bed, which will reset their stats. So here we are. This is like a house and we want it to be, we want to add a actor in there, but that will act as the bed. So we add an actor. We can... Make it anything we want. Is there anything like a bed? Uh, doesn't look like it, but uh, let's just say it's the chest. You sleep in a box, apparently. So we can now make it so when you when you interact with this, 
you can say you can ask them obviously do you want to sleep but uh we'll just make it so they they just obviously they came here to sleep right so when they sleep so you fall asleep and then we want to then we want to sit make sure the uh the the stats are back up right so we always want okay so this is where this is where the management actually comes into it right i'll just check that uh what we're doing is consistent with what we intend to do okay so obviously we aren't increasing the player's health uh when they level up so it doesn't matter that uh we are setting their health to five again when they go to sleep because obviously if the if their health was to increase like this player strength does and they decrease their health when they get hit then uh we need a way of keeping track of uh what their health is and you just to do that all you do is have a separate value which is called max health and that's the that's the value that increases when you level up and when you go to sleep you set your health to max health simple as that but for this we'll just uh We'll just set their health to five again. So player health. Player health is set to value of five. We can obviously just go back in here and take these all again. So obviously strength, we don't we don't want to take strength. Because strength increases when we level up. And if we were to set the strength back to one, then they'd lose their experience. We also don't want to set their experience. We also don't want to set their special attack, um, but we do want to uh, reset their special attack uses back to free. So we'll make sure we do that. So on interact with this chest, we'll say special attack uses set back to free. And then we can say, we can even have a fade out and then fade in like you've just gone to sleep and woken up. And then it can say, your stats are reset. So now they're reset, we can, we can, that's the end of it. And we can then go back outside. So what I'll do here is I'll have this trigger and I'll change scene to, to this scene. We'll live in this house here. Um, and I can I can now get rid of this uh, trigger I had before that I was using as a placeholder that uh, adds your special attack uses back. So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of the trigger completely. We can add a new trigger in on the door, and we can then change the scene to this place. If you want to, you can change the direction they face when they come into these scenes. Um, great. And also with the logo scene. We can make the player come into uh, their house to start so that you always uh, have a place, right? So now we can, if we want to, now we can go into the the enemies or the battle script and we can set the uh, experience it takes to, um, to level up to more, to so something more impressive like 30, right? So now it takes three kills to level up, which is a bit more gamified um, and should be a bit better. So obviously, we're not, I'll, I'll press play and we can test it out now. Okay, okay, you see that? It, it went through the logo very fast because uh, there was no weight on it. It just in, it just got in the, in the scene, set the variables and, and uh, changed the scene. So if you want to make it linger on that a bit longer, you can, um, but that's obviously an artistic choice. So now we're walking around and obviously we can't see our stats, but we can click on here. We can say you fall asleep and then it fades out and faded in real fast. So if you want to, you can have a wait in between that, just like the uh, logo script. Um, your stats are reset. So now if we go outside, we're out here, lovely. And if we go through here, we can uh, try and find, ah, here's the battle. So we can try our best to kill the enemy.
we leveled up, but why did we level up? Um, interesting. Did I set it in the wrong place? I'll just have a quick look. Okay, so I, I, if you were watching, you might have noticed that I only set it in one of the checks. So there are two checks because one of them is for when you hit them normally, and the second one is for when you hit them with uh, the special attack. So you have to make sure they both are set uh, when you're doing this. So if we kill them with the uh, special attack, it might be different. And obviously, we, we can. Uh, we might want to, um, we can have two variables for the player experience, the required experience to the next level and the current player experience, right? So we can then, instead of um, like we were doing before, and like, yeah, so before, um, what we're doing now is just comparing it to a, a value that we set ourselves. But if we were to compare it with a variable, we could increase that variable um, you know, every time they every time they level up, so that uh, that when they level up, the value is higher and higher. Um, so these are some ideas that should be inspiring you guys. I really hope that the this uh, series has uh, taught you a lot. If there's anything else you want me to to uh, go over, I would love to help. Um, I'm thinking of starting a, a new series on a different. Um, our different set of systems because uh, I feel like we've kind of got to the end of this. It's pretty uh, simple now. I might make a might make some pixel art tutorials so that you can make your games look as good as Pokemon um, and not just play like them. So uh, yeah, so tell me what you guys want in the comments and I will try and do my best to make it. Um, remember to check out Ticket Racing 2, the, the, the link is in the description. And uh, subscribe, like, and please leave your comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.